everybody, it's Pyrogun1839, and in this video, I will be showing you how I make my Rocket Candy high power rocket motor. The very first step in making your rocket motor is going to your minivan and getting the one and a quarter inch steel conduit. Then make a mark at 15 inches. I make several marks to help guide me when I'm cutting the conduit. A chop saw would definitely be the best tool for cutting the conduit, but an angle grinder with a cutting wheel works great too. Then you probably want to clean it up a little bit, so you can use the, a grinding wheel or a file to clean off any rough edges. And the inside of the rocket engine casing is still a little bit rough, so I'm going to use the grinding attachment on my Dremel to finish cleaning it up. And it looks nice and smooth. Now from both sides of the rocket engine casing, you want to make marks two and a half inches in. These marks show where the nozzle will be and where the end cap is going to be. Starting about an a half inch away from the marks you just made, you want to make three quarter inch cuts in the nozzle section of the rocket engine casing. And you want to make these cuts two more times all the way around the rocket engine casing. It should look something like this. Now all you want to do is make little notches in the middle of those sections you just cut. You don't want to cut all the way through. It'll make things more difficult in the next step. Now you want to take a screwdriver and a hammer and hammer in those little sections of metal. These will help anchor the nozzle and keep it from sliding out or popping out when the rocket engine goes off. And you don't want to hammer them in too far because you need to drill the nozzle later. So you need to leave enough space for a drill bit to get in there. Now we're going to do the same thing on the end cap end of the rocket engine, but instead of making four slits, we're just going to make two, at least for now. And you're just going to do three of those sections. So now we want to put a bolt through the conduit so that the end cap will not blow out. So we're going to make two slots on one end, two slots on the other end, and then we're going to 
cut out that metal. So again, just use your screwdriver and hammer, but this time we're going to pop them outwards instead of pushing them in. If you would rather just drill a hole in the engine casing, that is totally fine. I just prefer to do it this way. And then you just want to cut off those metal bits. And make sure your bolt fits in there. Alright, now you're just going to do the exact same thing on the other side. It's in there. Perfect. And now we're going to want to clean up the end cap side of the rocket engine casing because we're going to be sliding in our propellant grains in that side. So it needs to be as smooth as possible. All right, everyone, we have completed the prep work for this rocket engine casing. And the next step in making the rocket engine is working on the nozzle. So let's go do it. Since the nozzle is going to be made out of anchoring cement, we're going to use a little bit of electric tape to cover up the holes so that no water or cement leaks out while the nozzle is drying. Then you're going to want to set down some kind of flat waterproof material. I'm just using thermoform plastic to set your rocket engine on. Then you want to get about three quarters of a cup of anchoring cement and mix in some water until you get the right consistency. You don't want it too liquidy because it'll take forever to dry, but you don't want it too thick either. Once you get it mixed up, go ahead and start dropping it into the rocket engine. Just make sure to jiggle it around so there's no air bubbles. Once you think you have it filled up to that two and a half inch mark, get a light or a flashlight and look down in there. And I use a steel rod to tell the depth. And as soon as you see it hit the cement, you mark it with your finger, pull it out, and compare it to the mark on the engine. If you've put too much in, you can jiggle it around until some of that cement comes out the bottom. And now you just let it dry for a few hours. Once it looks dry, you can go ahead and drill the core. Then we're just going to use a 5 16 cement bit and drill a pilot hole. Try to get it centered as best as you can. Then we're going to move up to a one half inch bit. Again, try to keep it as centered as you can, but it doesn't have to be perfect. I like to widen it up on the end to avoid overpressure. All right, everybody, we have completed the nozzle for this rocket engine. And I usually give the nozzle 24 hours to dry. 
So in that 24 hour drying period, I make the fuel that will be going into this rocket engine. So in the next video, I will show you how I make the four grains that go in here and the end cap to finish off the rocket engine. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.